Hello everyone and welcome to part one of my Spore Let's Play. I'm I'm doing Let's Plays again and I'm doing Spore very quickly before we get started. Um, the reason why I stopped doing Let's Plays is because I had massive audio desync issues and they were a massive pain in the ass to sort out in editing and it really killed the project for me. Um, I was doing an Elder Scrolls Online Let's Play when this propped up and... Or pro popped up propped up popped up and um yeah it kind of killed the project for me which is a shame because i know some people were actually quite enjoying that especially for my numbers back in the day um like i actually had people showing up for those and i might go back and do another elder scrolls online playthrough with similar idea of like you know but that's not today today we are playing one of my all-time favorite games that i have not played oh god in years and years at this point spore uh if you don't know what spore is Basically, the creators of The Sims said, what if we made an everything game? And it's deeply flawed, but I love it. And you will see how that goes as we play. But yeah, uh, there's a selection of planets to start from. Um, we will be going on a green grass, blue water planet just for our own sanity. You start at the cell stage. You work your way up to the creature stage, the tribal stage, the civilization stage, and the space stage. Uh, this is a eat things that are smaller than you game this is a i guess open world survival game maybe i don't really know survival genre wasn't really a thing when this came out uh these two are like rts's and a space game it's also kind of an rts now that i think about it uh and we're gonna go carnival because in my experience it's a lot more fun playing as a carnivore in these games. We're going to go with normal. I forgot that there were difficulty options and I don't know how brutal they are. And we need to name our planet. Uh, hmm. What should we name our planet? I don't really want to go for a randomized name because I don't really trust randomizers to not throw out names that aren't just regurgitated for everyone. Um, but we'll see what they've got. Arani? I quite like Arani. Should, you know what? We don't have to overthink it. No one's playing this game anymore. We'll go with Planet Arani. Arani? Planet? Planet Arani. Oh shit. I will be quiet while the cutscene plays. I will be a good Let's Player. Wow, look, it's an entire planet. God, I have not set eyes on this game for a while. That planet looks quite small. <laughs> Obviously it is. It's like a cinematic version of the planet, right? Cinematic rendering of it. You know, actually zooming all the way in on that. Yeah, I feel like nowadays, because the thing most people played Spore for was the creature creator. Uh, well, the creature creator. But what I was actually going to say was uh, the space stage. Throughout sport, the choices you make will impact your future. As a cell, your mission is to eat, grow, and evolve. Growth is measured in your progress bar below. This is your progress bar. As you eat, you will earn DNA points. You may spend these points on new parts to evolve your cell. As, your pro as you progress, you grow larger and your world expands. And we're going to be eating up the meaty chunks. Ow. Because we're a meaty lad. Ow. And we will spare nobody. Nobody! <laughs> so yeah. This um, this game was very popular back in, I want to say like 2007-ish. It came out at the perfect time for me to enjoy it because I was young. I know um, a lot of people, the general consensus with Spore is it made a lot of promises that it didn't live up to. Oh shit, no! I just got eaten, what? Other cells and meteor bits are the key to finding new parts. Each part has unique abilities that can benefit your cell. When you see the new part appear, swim over the token to collect it. Sweet. We got bailed out by a cinematic. Um, so yeah, this game apparently made a lot of promises that people don't feel like it lived up to, but I never consumed kind of like that kind of content when I was a kid. Um, so I I just saw this game for what it was, which was fantastic. And I feel like in terms of the space stage, you know, I've always wanted kind of a sequel to it so it could do things better. I feel like while it's a different genre of game, No Man's Sky is kind of a sequel to Spore's space stage. Like, it's not an RTS, but 
like in terms of the way it handles space and space exploration it feels very much like a sequel to sport and i really i if it's not obvious i really like no man's sky um if i haven't played it in a little while that could be fun to do as well someday the thing with let's plays ew <laughs> I have no idea what kind of creature we're going to make yet. I wanted to look like that. Um, what colour are we going to be? Should we be pink? Let's be pink. Why not? Um, oh, I don't know. That has weird vibes to it. <laughs> that has, looks a little fleshy. Um, I, don't know, I don't know if I want to be a fleshy thing swimming around eating people. Let's be purple. Is that going to be okay? Sure, purple looks fine. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this eye. Hang on, wait a second. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna get rid of this eye and get some stork eyes going. Cause they look cuter. Although we're not necessarily going to try and be cute. Um, although, mind you, <laughs> sure, we'll have the eyes kind of to the back. That's the fun thing about Spore, you can make anything. That's like the selling point of this game, right? You can make absolutely anything you want. And I'm not going to name our species yet because, oh, it's going to make me balls. I don't know what it's going to look like. Um, primordial. What should we call them? Pang. <laughs> primordial Arakan. That's what they're going to be called. Because they're going to be a horrible warlike species. Uh, when they're in space. Spoiler alert. That's what we're doing. Because uh, for those of you who don't know, in the space stage you can be diplomatic, uh, which used to be my default, uh, but I find that quite boring to be honest. Uh, you can be, oh, those little those little fishies got lucky. I was going to eat them. Uh, you can be religious, I believe, and you can like convert people to your faith, which I've never played and don't really care to. Um, or you can be like warlike and conquer civilizations, and I think that's honestly the most fun way to play sport. Just be the biggest dick in the universe. <laughs> in more ways than one. I am being chased, however. Small beginnings, everyone. Humble beginnings. Interesting thing is, we don't. if we were to metagame this, I bet we don't even need eyes. I bet eyes don't technically grant sight. I bet we could sell them for some DNA to get more spikes or something. Wait. Ow. Ah, you just got eaten, you fuck. Oh shit. Run. 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 Oh yeah, he eating heals you as well, which is nice. Oh, it does kind of slow you down though. Oh my god, there are so many terrifying large fish around. Now, I have connected to the internet, so we should see other people's creations. But honestly, uh, if they shut down those kind of servers long ago, I would not blame them. Uh, they did provide... I'm going to eat you. I'm going to eat you. I'm gonna eat you, you can't stop me. No. They uh they did Maxis who made this game, they did provide a fairly wide selection of like Maxis made races and you know spaceships and buildings and all that kind of thing. Um And also I have logged into my account, so anything I've made over the years should show up in game at some point. I don't really know if I made it all on the same account though. So, we'll have to see. But I have made some weird creations. I made something called a Grape Lord, um, which is a screenshot which is actually, like, for some reason, getting algorithmically boosted in the Steam screenshot community, because people, every time I log into Steam at the minute, someone new has commented on Grape Lord. So maybe we'll see some Grape Lords around. Um, oh, the music gets scary when there's a big dude around. It is actually possible to kill someone that's larger than you but very difficult yeah okay i i did not meta game that did i i should probably find a mate um i haven't found any meteor parts for a while i've got to say maybe i should wait till i get here and then call a mate but yeah i i quite like this first little game it's very short it's a little mini game uh but it's nice kind of trying to start from scratch I guess because there's a there's a fun little bit of UI and by the way I love the UI detail on this game 
Um, it might just be because I grew up in this era, but I love, I love like, mid-2000s UI design <laughs> a lot of the time. Um, at least, like, I would say Windows XP era onwards, if you know what I mean, because that kind of shaped a lot of UI design, didn't it? For, the, for a lot of things. Alright, let's get it on. Let's get down. Wow, we've got someone watching over here. We've got a voyeur. I feel like I've started about a thousand tangents that I have not continued to talk about, but honestly, that's just kind of how how I roll. Okay, I thought these were like a triplet of tendrils, but they're not. Um, we haven't really unlocked anything new, so we'll just go for more speed for now. Um, but yeah, I love everything about this UI, like the rounded buttons, the little tingly, tangly music in the background, the way it handles, like, coloration. Ew. <laughs> I'm a lot more veiny than I was a minute ago. I guess it's because I'm becoming more solid. I've never noticed that before. That's really fun. Anyway. Uh, we might get done with this mini game in this episode. I don't know. I'm planning for these episodes to be about half an hour long, if you're wondering. But I did, uh, I did try and stream this game a few years ago. And I forgot to save. Which is a good point. I should save. Uh, I forgot to save at any point. And then the game crashed in the creature stage. And I lost everything. Uh, you can probably find a VOD on my old VOD channel before I before YouTube added like a little live tab for for VODs. Um, people used to kind of have like, and people still do. Oh my god, where's the meat? There's no meat. Do I have to kill creatures at this stage to get meat? Probably. That's fine. That's what we're here for. Nom. Wait, get out of it. Wait, leave me alone. I'm gonna eat you when I'm bigger. I will remember you and I will eat you. Oh, look at this guy, he's swimming for his life. It's so fun to be horrible. We're gonna be as big as that guy in the background one day. It's gonna be crazy. Oh, look, look, look. Come back! Come back! I've almost got him! Oh, so close! Oh, you stole my food! Oh, that's right. You can also get also get stuff by killing people. If there's one thing sport teaches you, it's to be the biggest jerk. You get the most rewards. Yeah, you can technically spend as much time as you like in this. Like, if you want the whole game to just be this, <laughs> for whatever reason, you can spend all your time here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. No, no. Um. Wait. Wow. Okay, that wasn't good. No, he's faster than me. I don't want to die. Swim for your life. Stop biting my bottom. It's not that tasty, I promise you. I'm a carnival. I'm not made to be tasty. But yeah, you could literally... If, if you just... If, if all you want is this skin... Actually, you know what? Sleeper memory just awoke. I remember... I did know about Spore before it came out. I remember watching footage of it on a very primordial YouTube. And they showed a preview of this stage, and I was so excited to play it. Because I loved these, like, flash games of, like, little fish eat little fish to get bigger, to become biggest fish to eat all fish. Like, it was kind of a genre of flash game. And I really enjoyed playing them. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, and I think... Maybe it wasn't before the game came out. Maybe I was just watching people do Let's Plays on it back in the day. Oh, here we go. Bit of meteorite. Oh, do we want to learn how to spit poison? That might be useful later in the creature stage. Should we be like a venomous poisonous? I haven't really given all that much thought to like what kind of creature we're going to evolve into yet. I like the idea of having lots of mouths. Might grow some extra mouths. Oh my god, that boy is so spiky. Ow, there's no way I can win against him. Jesus. His power level is too high. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the little sucky mouth. Uh, how much DNA do I have? I only have 11. Okay. Maybe this will take two episodes. Yeah, I want these episodes to be roughly half an hour long. I don't know if I said that yet. Um, also, another thing I should mention is... This is going to go in the same slot as uh, the roguelike ramble. So it will be one episode a week. Um, the roguelike ramble is kind of a let's play anyway. 
that doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing the roguelike ramble either. It just kind of means that right now my attention is uh, it's pulling me in this direction. And I think I make the best content when I make it out of something that I'm like excited to uh, play. Run! Run! Or swim. Sorry, you can't run yet. I'm not trying to make fun of you having no legs or anything. He's still after me. God, this lad's hungry. He looks a lot like me. Although, to be fair, there's not that many variables at this point in the game. Oh! Oh! Can I steal that before I die? No! Yes! Before I die, I mean, uh, I'm not gonna die. Munch. Swim! Swim! By the way, uh, this is supposed to take place over, like, I think, millions of years. Like, these different generations. Of, like, you know, swimming through primordial ooze. And eating smaller organisms. Come here. Gotcha. Oh, I'm feasting today. Hello. <laughs> He's like, oh shit. <laughs> uh, now I'm your size. Oh, not quite. Ow. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God, yeah, this is such a simple part of a game, but it is done so well. Like this... This gaining of power as you get bigger. And then the idea that there are some fish... Well, they're not fish, but there are some organisms which are so big that you don't even see them on the same plane as you until you get a bit bigger yourself. I don't know if that's like a science thing or like a gameplay thing, but I like it. Sorry about that. Alright, now I can eat you. Oh, I forgot you have a little stinger on you. I have to eat you from the front. We've got an app for that. Right. Oh, over here. It's time to get down. We have, after all, found a fair few new pieces. I laid egg. Okay, so we don't have enough for the jet yet, but we do have enough for, C for, for Celia. Hmm. I never like the fantasy of having poison glands. It's just kind of meh. Alright, so that's 15 DNA. We've got 22, but we could sell this for 15. Sell this for 15 and just replace it, right? What's the point of... um? Oh, okay, I guess it's the same speed, it just gives you fast turns. That's alright. We like fast turns. Oh, it looks weird just having one on the back, though. I kind of like it. I kind of like the asymmetry, actually. Um, and we could go for some more spikes as well. We're spike spec. We're spiky. Alright. <laughs> we look like a mess, but it's fine. We can look like a mess. different parts clipping through each other. Die! Oh, look at me. I'm getting in there. This is very dangerous. No. no. Oh, my food. I don't want to lose my food. Mind you, there's also just a lot of it around right now. Leave me a oh. Okay, well, that one didn't last long. <laughs> that guy did not last very long. Take two. really craving that DNA, you know? No! I want the part. I want the new part. Yay! Ow. Oh, I could electrocute people? That's pretty cool. I think that becomes a... It's not electrical when you take it to the creature stage. Wow. Okay. That was rude. That was just straight up rude. Um... I think it becomes like a, you get parts to like charm creatures, I think it becomes one of those. Come here, come here, oh I remember you, I remember you, you ate me when I was tiny, I'm gonna eat you, oh, well, I still ate him, that's fine. I did put this on normal so, it's not surprising I'm dying every so often, I'm also not really giving it my full attention. From the back, 
Oh, come on. There we go. I want you. I'll never forget what your kind did to me. I want you. Ow. Ow. Stop. God, the bullying. I, I like the pace of this minigame. I feel like it doesn't overstay its welcome. Obviously, we are coming towards the end of it now. If it lasted too much longer, I think it would run the risk of being boring. But I like it. That being said, I was about to say I can't find any meat, but food just... Wait! Oh no! I think I just committed cannibalism. I think those were the parts of one of my own. I wasn't fully paying attention. No! Eat your way through the poison, it's fine. Hello. <laughs> oh my god, the bubbles. Can you imagine if there was like a multiplayer mode for this? Say that. Say that. Munch. What are you doing? Why are you coming after me? You're not gonna wit out. I wonder if um the species evolve as we do. Like obviously as you get as you get bigger, you do find newer species with more parts. But like I wonder if any of them are like parts from before, like actual species from earlier with new parts put on. I don't think so. I don't think the game is smart enough to do that. Ew. Look at those stink bubbles. That's gross, dude. Whoa! No! No! God, they were ganging up on me. That was an absolute risky mission for that lot. And they all lost. I'm bigger now. Deal with it. Deal with it. Deal with it. Oi! Don't steal my food! <laughs> all for me. All for me. Oh wow, it's left a corpse. Interesting. Ow! Stop sucking me. Leave me alone. No, there's so much meat there. Oh. What the heck? Oh my god, I took so much damage before I died. I lost all that meat. Alright. Let's make out. No! No! Oh, there was just enough time to make love. That was upsetting. That was absolutely devastating. Alright, let's get rid of you. And replace you with this. Now, I did say I wanted to have many mouths. Hmm. We can we can do that later, though. We can do that later. Let's try and get out of this stage before the video ends. It's fine, we can go a little bit over half an hour. Look at me, I'm so fast. Whoops. I forgot about the big pointy bit on his... Okay, I'm going to leave that guy alone. He's too difficult. You, on the other hand. Oh. Wait a second. <gasps> I'm having my first fort. I'm on the path to sentience. When it comes to swimming in the sludge, I rule the pool. When I'm ready to stretch my legs in the big wide open, click of the advance button. Yeah, so the idea is you could swim around a little bit longer and get some more parts. But uh, I don't think we need to worry about that. So yeah, this is the screen I was talking about earlier where it shows you kind of like your evolution path. We randomly turned purple for our second generation. Don't worry about it. This timeline shows a history of the actions you have taken during life as a cell. You have established a unique trait which earns you unique abilities that will benefit your future generations. Which path... Have you chosen? The path of meat. <laughs> um, yeah, lots of murdering. Lots of murdering occurred over, let's see, uh, 800 million years. So while this was a half an hour video for you, this was 800 million years for me. Although I don't know. Actually, wait, no. If you scroll all the way this way, it says in the top right, it's been 2 million, 900 million. 2 billion. <laughs> 900 million years. That's a, that's a number you don't say very often. Alright, let's get out of here.
Um, yeah, we've still got some time. We'll create our first creature. So yeah, we're, we're, we exist in 3D now. So we can have these little beanstalk eyes up here, so it's not too weird. Uh, if I remember right, you don't really have enough DNA to uh, to do much here. We'll have one set of horns, I guess, and we'll get rid of the other set. We won't need that anymore. <laughs> because if I remember right, this just gives like intimidation buff now or some shit. Well, this does look kind of weird. I want to raise enough money to have two sets of legs. Um, Bronisaurus, Fatella, or Thundercalf. Let's have a look. <laughs> look at this little guy. This is the most spore-ass guy I've seen, like, in my life. I think the eyes need to be a head. That mouth is so weird. That mouth needs some sorting out. I sound like a parent. That math might need some sorting out. Right, can I uh, extend you a little bit, my sir? Thank you. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. Oh, hang on. Wait. <laughs> that's so fucking weird. I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's give you your other set of legs before I forget. Um, and then. Yeah, so obviously you can like make parts big <laughs> make parts bigger. Um That's perfection actually. That's actual perfection. Hang on, wait, 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 we can make it better. There we go. There we go. <laughs> this looks so weird. Maybe I can make the neck a little bit weirder. I was gonna say more natural looking, but a little bit weirder. Ew. Whoops. Sorry, mate. You're gonna want your legs. They're, spoiler alert, they're gonna come in very useful soon. And we'll put these here. Oh, actually, that actually kind of works. Um... I don't know why I'm trying to make this monstrosity look like it makes sense, but here we go. <laughs> now we get to paint him. What's he gonna look like? Is he gonna stay purple? Uh, come on, you can do it. There we go. Oh, he still looks so weird and veiny. I don't like it. Because he's still got his old, um, just coming out of the sea look on. What about this texture? What's this gonna do for him? Oh, that's upsetting. That's upsetting. Ooh. <laughs> That's so upsetting, we're gonna keep it. Um, yeah, I didn't tell you we were gonna be making an Eldritch Horror, but we are. Um, I just kinda wanna call him Ralph, but we're gonna go with an actual creature name. Uh, colloquially known as Ralph. Bulbous. Eldritch. <laughs> No, can't use Eldritch as a tag, because it's not actually really Eldritch themed. Um, it's kind of like a chicken. Um, ancient Arakan. There we go. Wow, what a thing we have evolved into. What a thing of beauty. What a creature of absolute grace. Oh, I hope it. I hope it doesn't crash on this part. I feel like. This is rife for a crash, right? So these are the kind of creatures we're going to see in the creature stage. They're all Max's creatures, so clearly the... <laughs> he won the evolutionary battle because... Um, because his head was so big that it helped him rise to the surface, you know? God, he must have some hidden muscles in that tiny neck of his though, right? God, the babies. Look at the fucking babies. The babies are always so cursed. That's a weird looking tree. It is the beginning of a new day, and for you, a whole new strange and wondrous world. Air fills your lungs as you stretch into your limbs in your new home, dry land. The race to evolve has begun. Now you are a creature surrounded by your nestmates. To evolve, you will need to meet the other species on this planet and earn DNA. Earning DNA moves your progress bar. Let's take a look. 
This bar shows your progress. Fill it by building relationships with the other species and forcing them to become extinct. Oh, or forcing them. Let's go to your first goal. Here is where you will find your objectives. As the score suggests, food is critical to your survival. Let's learn how to look around to find some. All right, we'll do that next episode. I'm gonna save. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, the um, oh I forgot this was called Planet Arani. The uh, the Arakan of Planet Arani. That really works, huh? Anyway, um, yeah, welcome to the creature stage. We will be playing this next week in next week's episode. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. We just pooped out a baby. Congratulations, everyone.